Welcome back to Manum Cross New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, as you can see what's going on on our lovely island of Fawn Hollow today, where we'll be vibing out as per usual. You know, you know how we, you know how it is, a little Animal Crossing style, you know. <laughs> I don't know why I was going with this, um, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. But uh, anyway, what was I gonna say? Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. I, I don't really have anything in particular to talk about. Um, I recorded some more Babazoo today, and you might be like, didn't you record some Babazoo yesterday? And I was like, and I'll be like, yeah, and, and I mean I did, <laughs> but but uh, Bowser Review was really fun because when I played it yesterday, if you well you won't know until like midway through June, maybe end of June, I don't know. But we'll get onto that in a second. Hello everyone, we're in hand phone, and it's five forty p.m. on Tuesday, May thirty first, twenty twenty two. Um, I was on a roll where I was going through levels which I had not completed and seeing basically if I could complete them. I was on a huge roll and it just motivated me to play some even more today and. You know, and a spoiler alert for something which is inevitably going to happen, you know. Um, I have... What on earth? Is someone... <laughs> Phoebe, what are you doing there? How did you even get that? I don't, I don't really know either. Um, a spoiler alert for something which I'm sure you knew was going to happen anyway, but I have finished all the levels in New Adventures. Which is, uh, the new pack that was introduced in the, the Bab Make level update. Um, I finished actually all the all of them, at least according to Wiki there's no more. And, uh, I was kind of like, oh, Bevers, you, uh, what, what should I do? I guess this kind of means the series is over now, which is now awkward because now it's going to end pretty similar timing to Chicory. But then I was like, oh, brilliant. Um, check to see if I actually, uh, if I added any more levels since I last played, um, into the previous packs. And it turns out I had, but there's six more levels that they added, uh, to the base game and one more level they added to the museum since I've, uh, since I last completed them. So I was like, oh, perfect, you know, but that's definitely going to fill in like three or more episodes, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what, um, levels they are missing, but it's, it's, a, it's an interesting experience when a game sort of gets patched after you finish completing it. Because, uh, I don't know, it's happened a few times, obviously, but it happened to Babazoo, you. it happened to, uh, what's it happened to? It's happened to Spirit Spiritfarer, it happened to uh, Bug Fables as well, and I'm always sort of just like, I don't know if I want to, not like, I don't want to go back and play them again, but I, I kind of had my experience of them, you know, if you get what I mean, and especially with something like Bug Fables, it's sort of just like, I, I don't really have anything more more to do, I suppose. Um, I don't, I don't really have anything more, more to do in my game, and it's kind of like, I had my time in it and I'm just sort of like, you know, <laughs> I, I guess it's a lot of the time is, um, I'm trying to think how to phrase this, but the extra content which gets unlocked is something you have to play through the game again to um, get access to, or it's like a small addendum at the end. If there's a small addendum at the end, which is something you can go through and go back and play, then I feel like it's fine. I, I believe that's how Bug Fables is is you can go back and you, it's like an extra fight, it's like an extra area or something like that. And it's sort of, sort of like, um, I think that's probably the best way to do things. So people who completed the game, because I'm not going to say it's made for people who completed the game, but it certainly should be made with that in mind, depending on how long after I suppose it's, um, it's been released. And I don't mean that in like a sort of like self-centered, well hopefully not in a self-centered sense, but, oh, excuse me. But I mean that in the sense that, um, it, it's as if it's like quite a few months after your game's been released or whatever I, I think the majority of people probably play it within that sort of like few months after it's released that's my assumption unless you're a game which has like a huge revitalization in which case that's what, what content updates there to bring back so it's really only people who have never played a game or i suppose people who have played a game are coming back to visit but the thing is um if if you create new content and it's something which you find out f which you're going to experience like midway through the game but people who completed the game will never be able to experience it without playing through the game again which you know not many people are that privy to do but new people are fine with it but if it's something which goes is a denim to the end of the game all, all people can play it you know all people can experience it which is probably why that's probably the favorite option isn't it but i don't know i guess it's just sort of like the momentum why it momentum wise it feels like it's sort of like um i feel like i had my ending point with that game and then coming back to visit it for just like one small thing, and unless it's a game I really, really love, even for a game I really, really love, Babazi, I, I knew they added like more levels, and um, like they had like updated things, so like some levels had changed, etc., etc. Um, but even that was did not bring me back to the game because I was like, it's only a small like content update. It had had to be a big content update, I suppose, for me. And maybe that's just something which I sort of need to and evaluate for myself. It's sort of just like you know, um, I only go back to these games once I've. Um, 
revisit it. Uh, what? And only if it's a huge content update to revisit it. But even then, I don't even know if I would. Because Bugsnax has got an update, and I'm not... It's not like I'm not keen. Like, when I, when I say I'm not keen to go back to visit it, it's not like in the sense that I, I don't like the game. I'm like, oh, I, I'm not keen to go and play this game again. It's like, you know, I'm, I love the game. It's fantastic fun. It was just like, revisiting it is sort of just like a... I don't know. After it had its send-off. <laughs> Not send off as in like that was the last time I was ever going to see the game again, but it's more like after I, I had. It, it, I suppose it just it feels like restarting something that you hadn't done in ages. Sometimes it's great, but in, in, of course, in, sorry, in, in, in the in the context of games, it's really not that exciting, I suppose, for me. What's this notification? Do I need to pay attention to it? No, it's okay. I can uh, I can ignore that for now. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Like DLC, I don't say DLC is a bad thing because some games I do like DLC. You know, Skull, for example, Skullgirls. They had like DLC of new characters. That was pretty cool. You know, got to get all the new characters for free. Um, was it for free? I don't know. Uh, at least the way Skullgirls did it is that um, if you downloaded it within like the first month of it being released or something, you got it for free. I think they eventually made most of the characters free now. I'm not sure. I, I think it's just the new upcoming characters a lot. So like Annie and Umbrella and what have you, and Black Dahlia, which is a shame because actually <laughs> Black Dahlia was my favourite character, but the number one character I wanted to actually become a character, has finally become a character 10 years after the game has been released or so, but anyway, that's not really a point, like, I'm not against DLC, of course, you know, in fact, I suppose it'd be rather hypocritical for me to be like, I'm against DLC, um, because a lot of the games I play, the games I play the longest are ones which are like games as a service, quote quote. Games which have like ongoing progress and constant sort of updates, which, you know, they just happen to be gacha games because most of them tend to be in that mobile format. Uh, most of them tend to be the games I sort of like the most. So I want, I guess I, guess I just have a sort of different viewpoint when it comes to these games, um, which have like an ending point, you know, like Bug Snacks and Bug Fables. Coincidentally, both Bug, bug name related games um but when we get an expansion pack despite the fact i love the game i just i just don't go back to it and i don't know i guess it has to be completely repackaged repackaging a new game for me to play it. it it's just like i'm not really the type of person person to revisit things i've already done if if you understand me like i'm not the type to replay through games i like um the exception apparently was plants and zombies but you know i was a different person when i was like 10 so <laughs> um of course people people change. I, I also tend not to really to watch, I don't think I, the exception being Ice Age of course when I was like 12, <laughs> all those types of Ice Age. I, I'm trying to think of a movie I've watched multiple times. I've watched Ice Age 2, Ice Age 3 and Bolt multiple times but that's because I know I was much younger, you know, <laughs> your scope is much narrower. A lot of times it's rather like watching it again, it's not like it's Sally's experience but the, the experience is different and it's not, it doesn't quite live up to, maybe it does Sally it a little bit for me, you know. Like, uh, for example, first time playing through Portal, wow, mind-blowing, absolutely amazing, incredible. Um, so first, you know, I'd, I'd imagine that's one of the games that really sort of sparked my love for puzzle games and that sort of thing. Um, but playing through it again, you know, knowing all that happens, knowing, I mean, it's, I suppose it's sort of like doubly bad in puzzle games, especially when you can remember the, the, the actual levels and the solutions. Um, it's sort of like the spark isn't there anymore. I suppose, and you know, it, it, it's happened for a lot of games. Like Night in the Woods, I, I said, it's one of my top favourite games of all time because I, I don't know, I just I ended up personally connecting with it, I suppose, quite a lot. Um, it, it really it really drew me in. Um, but it's a game where I haven't played it through again, despite the fact when you first play it, you can only do one of the stories. Spoilers, I suppose, you can only follow B story or Greg story. You, you, you get three choices, you can only go to one of them each time. I follow B story every time. And I also um, accidentally skipped out on Germ Story because I thought I thought the three options were B, um, what's the name? Greg and Germ, but you know, turns out it's not. It turns out you can do Germs and Bs, but um, I just I just haven't played for it again, like ever. Despite it being one of my favourite games, Undertale, like would I ever play for Undertale again? I don't know. I don't think so. And I suppose part of the reason is because it's a story game. You know, I'm not, I'm not interested in experiencing it for myself again. I've already experienced it. I, I remember all the story, well not all the story beats, I remember most of the story beats. And I suppose the excitement of a subversion, or the excitement of experiencing it for the first time just really isn't there anymore. When you play through it again, I guess that's kind of a shame. Because, I mean, I feel like a lot of people get a lot of joy from like revisiting things that they've already experienced. The one I always hear about is like re-binging TV shows. Like, what TV show have I ever re-watched twice? 
For one, there's not many TV shows I've even watched in the first place. Um, I really can't think of any. Um, I legitimately can't think of a TV show I've watched through twice, apart from, you know, and I'm not counting the ones I've watched multiple times from when I was like 12 or younger and like tuning into Cartoon Network on a Saturday morning or something and it being a rerun of a previous show. I really can't think of one. And I guess probably there's, there's shows I've watched where I've rewatched shows which I haven't seen in a really long time. Like I've, I have rewatched some episodes of um, like Codename Kids Next Door, but I haven't also seen that since like <laughs> I was, um, pro yeah, I'm probably about 12. Probably about that sort of age. Um, and things like that, you know, when, when just sort of like an off chance. I happened to rewatch it. Even like Man of the Pony, which was one I watched when I was like 13 or something. I didn't rewatch any of the episodes I'd already seen before. I only watched the new stuff. And I never really realised how, how, like, much I, how adverse I, I suppose I am to reconsuming things I've already consumed. I'm taking some self-reflection about this. I, I really didn't realise this. <laughs> and I suppose it's kind of ironic because I'm, I'm here playing Animal Crossing the same day, 700 days in a row. Which is kind of why I suppose I'm not really playing quote quote Animal Crossing anymore. It's just sort of me talking about things. And it's been like that since, you know, about day 100 or so, I'd, I'd guess. But probably way earlier than that. <laughs> it, it's just been me talking about things. But probably around like day 30 or something. I think it's just it just turned into my sort of mini podcast. Where I just, I don't know, talk about myself, I guess. It's not a very structured podcast. When did you get those clothes, Vivian? What are you making? Um, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen you uh, wear those before. Wear that before. I, I think you're rocking it, to be honest, Vivian. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. What was I, what was I saying? Um, is that something? Pile of leaves, we already know this recipe. Where she got a Gemini fragment. And we already got uh, floated pretzels? Did I read that right? Frosted pretzels, that's probably what it said. Um, I really can't imagine. And what have I played, for, what have I reconsumed past the age of, like, say 14 or so? There must be a single game I've played through twice. There have been games where I've restarted my progress. That's, that's definitely true. You know, I talk about Dragon Quest Nine all the time, but that's mainly because I've actually, like, you know, I played through and I'm like, I don't remember most of the story beats. Because I'm not that invested in the Dragon Quest series, I'm going to be honest. I just kind of wanted to play an RPG. I don't even know why I bought it in the first place. I don't regret it. It's a pretty fun game. Um, you know what, actually, I have? It's Pokemon Black and White, technically. Um, is uh, <laughs> you, know, you might say, oh, they're different games. That's why it's Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. But that's basically the same game. Let's be real. Um, <laughs> at this point, it's sort of just a marketing ploy to split the game, um, main series games up into two. Just so you can, you know, have some sort of limited scarcity, I suppose. Uh, that's kind of a, a, a point of having Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. I was going to say Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Those are actually Pokemon games. So, um, I just meant in the, in the sense of X, Y, and Z. Um, I played through Pokemon Black and then immediately played through Pokemon White. Again. Well, not immediately. I, th I think it was maybe about a year or so in between. I don't know why I actually bought both of them, but it is actually my favourite series. Uh, Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. I think it's underappreciated. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I, I think it is one of the ones with the best story. With N and... I can't remember. Team, it's not Team Galactic. That's Pokemon. That's Gen 4. Uh, team, oh, oh, that, team, plasma? I, I don't really remember. But I, I found it very interesting. At the very least. Um, even though I don't remember it all. Apparently that well. <laughs> and I, I suppose the sequels. But at least the sequels kind of change things up. Even if I don't really recall them all that well. Wow. Have I really... I'm going to go look at my Steam library. Apart from Plants and Zombies, I can't think of a game which I've played through multiple times. Okay, can I... Hold on. Can I sort my games by, like... Amount played? Filtering? No, I don't want to filter. Soundtracks. Okay, I, I guess we can just scroll through them. Like, Babbo's U technically is one I've kind of revisited, but that was a that was a very big um update. Portal 2, I've actually played through a co-op campaign multiple times, but it's different when I'm playing with someone else, you know? Because that, I suppose that that changes the experience enough for me to enjoy it. Um, like that. It, to enjoy playing through it again, I suppose. Because I played through Portal 2. I played it through the, the, the campaign, like, five times. The co-op campaign. Like, the first time I played with one of my friends, then I played with another friend, then I played through with a different friend, then I played through a different friend. 
Um, I don't know why I'm the person to just play Portal 2 co-op campaign with. Like, the first time was legitimately blind, and it was a really enjoyable time, you know, that sort of experience. The second time was kind of blind. I didn't really remember all, all the puzzles. Like, a, a very common thing in puzzles is I'll remember the puzzle, I'll remember sort of a gist of solution, but not quite the exact um, execution. But I remember that time I consciously, like... If I, if I walked in and I remembered the puzzle or I remembered the solution, I would be like, I don't, I remember the solution, I'm not going to say anything. The third one, I remembered most of the puzzles and solutions, I would say. Um, so it was only, so I, I stayed kind of mostly quiet, basically just sort of being um, <laughs> a very good assistant, I suppose, to the person who I was playing with. Basically, I stood where basically I, I needed to, to stand and let them sort of figure out the puzzle and sort of gave them hints. And by, by the time I played like through the fourth and fourth, it might have actually been the fifth time, I don't remember. I, I, I remembered every single puzzle and every single solution, in which case I, I basically was kind of just there to be like a conversational soapbox or, or something. I'm not sure soapbox is that's not really the right way to use that, but you know, you know what I mean. So I, I, I guess that's what I'm learning about myself, you know, reconsuming the same thing again. Ugh, gross. Do, do that DJ Khaled, you know, like he's leaning away, put the hand against his face. And then reconsuming the same media again with a friend. And then you get like a pointing DJ Khaled. I know it's a bit of an old meme. I don't. Um, <laughs> that meme format is like so old now that people have made up their own new formats because that. For, that sorry, what? What am I trying to say? Of course they made up a new formats. They made up their own new formats to recreate the same meaning of that meme. Just to stay relevant. Because that meme. That, the, the meaning behind that meme. Fantastic. Very wildly applicable to many sort of things. And I suppose the exception is um, games which are meant to be replayable. You know, Binding of Isaac I played quite a lot. Until at one point I was just like, you know, I don't want to play this anymore. And I stopped. Or if there has been a new patch update, maybe I'll revisit it from time to time. Because, I mean, you can you can go back, I suppose, and try and find out um, whatever videos it was. It was around the release, release of Repentance. I played a heck ton of Binding of Isaac then. Basically unlocking all the characters and then trying to complete all the post-it notes. I didn't complete all the post-it notes by the time the patch came out. But I will say, I did complete Tainted Lazarus before his update. And you might be like, what? Why would you subject yourself to that? Controversial, hot take. I, Tainted Lazarus, I actually really liked even pre, pre-buff. pre I don't know what I think of him post-buff, to be honest. But pre-buff, I really enjoyed playing Tainted Lazarus. Because <laughs> it was challenging... It, it, you know me, I love my weird gimmicks, and it is probably the king of weird gimmicks. I also really like Tainted Eden, and I think I think I completed Tainted Eden's post-it note. I'm not so sure about one. I don't know if I did Tainted Lost. Tainted Lost was actually legitimately very hard, so... <laughs> um, you might be like, what? You say Tainted Lost is, was, is harder than Tainted Lazarus? Personally, for me, yes. Tainted Lazarus was... Don't get me wrong. No, Tainted Jacob was the hardest one. Tainted Jacob I actively didn't like playing, <laughs> is what I'll say. Um, Tainted Lost, I found... Quite amazingly fun, but, you know, frustrating at the same time, because it, it's basically, you have a hyperglass cannon, <laughs> if you don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to not here to talk about Binding Isaac, I'm here to talk about games I've played through multiple times. I'm not really sure. I guess probably the closest I get to reconsuming any media would be me watching me play through the games I've played through for the first time. That might be an interesting thing. And maybe I like that because it's sort of just like I get to have a different sort of perspective on these sort of things. But then I also had to listen to my bad commentary. So, you know, then there's... <laughs> you know, you got you got sweets and... Wait, what, what's a phrase? Where you get, like, good things and bad things all in one. A bit of sweet... A bit of sweet candy bowl. That's a comic. A web comic for you there. Still ongoing. Haven't ha haven't read it in a while. Perhaps I should check it out again. See, see what the update is going on. See all that drama between Mike and Lucy. Mainly because... <laughs> You know, Mitsui Candlebell, very dramatic. If you if you're, if you're keen to read it yourself, that's it's basically a high school drama, and it's very it it, it gets dramatic. <laughs> it's probably what I would describe it as. I think it's pretty good as well. Don't get me wrong. And I have a, a lot of respect um, for the creators for creating it. That's something I want to do at some point. You know, make a web, web comic, tell tell my own story. Well, not 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 my story, but like tell a story, I suppose. I certainly hope that we've got a writing group so I can practice my writing. Although, saying that, I haven't done any of my writing group stuff for this week. Actually, where's our, where's our meeting? Oh, hold on a minute. There was a message here. One I, I do need to reply to. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me pause this. 
That's okay. I'm, I might need to pause again, you know, within like 10 minutes or so, but we'll see. Why, why am I going here? I don't know. <laughs> I meant to sell things. Um, it's not very imp important, you know, a friend left something in my house and, you know, they're just coming to pick it up. Um, and I'm just seeing if, when they're coming? I don't know. <laughs> They've not really said anything. Also, um, I guess we can sell the star fragments. We have so many star fragments. We don't need all of them. Um, what game have I played through multiple times? That game? No. I mean, I guess don't start together, kind of, but that, that, does not, that doesn't really have like a... I mean, it might have a campaign now, but when I... But that, that sort, sort of feels like it feel, sort of falls in the roguelite sort of category for me. I know it doesn't literally, but it, it kind of feels like it does. Um, where it's sort of like it's got... It's, it's meant to be like a repetitive, endless sort of content farm. It's hard to say. How I describe it. What else is there? Mm. I don't think I've played any of these games multiple times. Hold on, let me pause again, sorry. Ah, oh, I'm back, I'm back. It's okay. I got about... Well, I don't know. No, I'm going to guess about 15 minutes, so it's okay. That'll be after this episode has ended, probably. Um, what's that talking about? Oh, yeah. H have I really not played any game, apart from Plants of Zombies, uh, multiple times? That almost feels like it can't be true. I'm almost sort of, like, in disbelief about it, but I'm looking at all my Steam games. I've never played any of these more than once <laughs> through. Um, really? That's so strange. Is that strange? Maybe that's not strange. I don't know. I don't really know if that's if that's a norm or, or, or not the norm. How are you really not playing? Wow. I guess I really, really don't like replaying through stuff. And I am trying to think of a movie which, in recent years, I've consciously been like, I'm going to watch this again. I guess Hereditary. Actually, that's true. But that's not quite the same because I didn't watch it again on my own, not like on my own accord. I said, this is a really good movie. Like, I watched it with some friends, and I said, this is a really good movie to some other friends. And being like, and then, you know, still in cinemas, and they'd be like, yo, should we watch it? Are you okay with watching it again? Well, it wasn't like that. I, I probably was that. And they were like, let's go watch a movie or something. And I was like, I I'm okay with watching uh, Hereditary again. I really liked it. Um, so we watched it again. Um, I don't think they liked it as much as I did, but I, I really liked Hereditary. I think, it I think it's a fantastic horror movie. It's what I like in a horror movie. I, I don't really care for spatter horrors. I've been like, oh, yawn boring. Oh, okay. I'm not going to say yawn boring. If, if you like them, because one of my friends just super loves was sort of like cheesy um, Sasha fix in horror movies. I, I don't really, I'm like really impartial to that. I'm sort of just like, I guess it. I guess I, you know, I'm not that keen on comedy. So comedy horror is just like a weird combination for me. <laughs> I'm just like, all right. Um, I kind of like the thriller side of it. So I, re I really like things like, get. I really like Get Out. I really like Us. Um, Hereditary was, of course, very good. Parasite is kind of like the, the rare comedy plus... It's not really horror, I guess. It's more like comedy, like thriller um, or suspense. Done very well. But anyway, I'm not... We already talked about horror movies. I'm, I'm trying to think of something I'll consume again. I haven't even seen Parasite twice, and I think that's probably, like, my favourite non-animated movie. I don't know what my favourite animated movie is. And before you ask, I don't think it's Zootopia. I do like Zootopia quite a lot, but I don't think it's my favourite. I'm trying to think what my favourite would even be. I know I know from my childhood it's Lion King, but I'd, does that still... I haven't seen it since, <laughs> amusingly. I, I watched it in my childhood, so, you know, even my childhood favourite things I haven't seen again. That's crazy. Well, what is my favourite animated movie? I don't know, I really like Inside Out. It might be Encanto now, I'm going to be honest. Like, Encanto's animation is fantastic and I love its music, so, you know... Can you really blame me if I think Encanto is my favourite animated movie? That's not even it. I'm, I'm sort of losing my mind. I guess Terraria I've played through multiple times. But Terraria's had big updates every single time. I think that's probably the closest I'll get to a, a game I've played multiple times is Terraria. That, that's wild. Terraria? I mean, Terraria's a really good game. I'm apparently also still getting updates somehow, which I, I, I don't really understand. Hold on, I've got another message, is it? Oh, it's not messages. It's from a Discord server, a YouTube feed. 
I don't, know, I, don't, I don't pay attention to my Discord server. I apologise for people actually on there. <laughs> I say at the end of the video to go on my Discord servers and if you want to like chat with me or whatever, and I just proceed to never check it. <laughs> I'm so proud of us. I, I just have like nothing to ever say, I think. You know, put put a video camera in front of me apparently and I have what and just be like talk and I'll be like, Yeah, I can talk and then you'd be like, Alright, put like a chat box in front of me being like, Alright, you wanna chat with people? And I'm like, I don't really know what to say. Not in a way that like um, I feel awkward saying it. It's just sort of like a, I feel like I don't literally have anything interesting to say. So I just never think about it. <laughs> I, I must be one of the strangest social media consumers in the world. Because I, I, I can consume a decent amount of social media, but I also don't interact with it all that much. I have Twitter, you know, I have, I have all these social media sites. I only really go on it not to participate in the conversation, but just kind of like to get updates about things or to see what other people say about it. And we go, yeah, I agree with that. Or, nah, I don't agree with that. <laughs> it's so very strange. I don't really, really know where I was going with this, to be perfectly honest. But uh, I'm, I'm going to just like round this episode of here. I, I don't really know what else I was going to say. <laughs> Reconsumation. Uh, there, there must be a TV show I've watched multiple times. I, I really can't think of one off the top of my head. What popular TV shows do I even like? And before you go things like Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, whatever, and, you know, I, I've not seen any of them, so I haven't even seen those for the first time, let alone a second time. Um, that's where you go to Google. Popular TV shows. Popular, like I haven't seen quiz shows again. That, that probably falls into the same, same realm as um, popular TV shows of all time. Yeah, let's see that. Um, same realm of like replaying puzzle games. So I kind of remember all the questions. Well, not all the questions, but I remember a lot of the questions. So kind of sour the experience. Okay, let's go on IMDb. Let's see these top 100 TV shows. Okay, okay. let's actually find one I've actually seen. Be 100. I've never even heard of this one. I was gonna be Black Mirror. I've seen a few episodes from, but I haven't seen them multiple times, so, you know, <laughs> I have I say a few, I've only seen two, I've only seen a, a million credits and I've seen Nosedive, which are both very good, I just didn't have Netflix at the time to watch it, now I feel like it's a bit passe to watch it. Friends? I, was, I don't know if I've seen it, I've, like, the only time I've watched Friends is when we're like, like a family friend's house being like, oh, what should we do now, let's just like put on the TV or whatever, it's, it's always Friends, you know, people don't really hate Friends, I guess that's why. Rick and Morty, I've seen one episode, I think, but I don't even remember what episode it is. I'd, ha I'd have to think about what episode it was. <laughs> I've seen, like, none of these TV shows. I've never even heard of some of these. Sabrina got a reboot? Like, so is that Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Got reboot? I had no idea. Umbrella Academy? Heard good, good things about it. What's it like now? Has it got a season three? Seems like it has got a season, season three. I've heard good things about Red Academy. I, I've seen like a trailer, like the, the, the trailer things, and I've seen some clips from it, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I just proceeded never to watch it. It's just who I am. I wonder how difficult I am to market. I'm not difficult to market, I'm going to be honest. It's just like, I suppose, some conventional things which are popular, I don't necessarily don't necessarily appeal to me. Don't, don't market TV show me, I'm not going to watch it. Market a plushie at me. Or market cool cool artwork. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to round off this episode here. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Any likes, comments, description, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me, Dear Darling, Discord. Follow me on Twitter down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.